In this tutorial you will learn how to configure the field evaluations for the laser scanners in the LMS1 and LMS5 product families. The configuration settings are made using the SAPAS software. You will find the link to download the software in the text describing the video below. As the LMS1 and LMS5 laser scanners are configured in exactly the same way for the field evaluation, we are going to use the LMS5 as an example. Once the LMS has been added in SAPAS, the project tree of the open device is displayed on the left hand side. The configuration of a field evaluation essentially consists of two parts, a field and an evaluation case. The field defines the area to be monitored, and the evaluation case defines the object size and the time, in which an object is to be detected. To configure a field, click to select field from the menu. This menu item can be used to create new fields as well as to copy, edit, and delete existing fields. Click the new button to open the field editor, in which the field limits are defined. Give the field a name of your choosing. On the first page, select which field type is to be used. There are three different field types, segmented fields, which can take on any shape, rectangular fields, which retain their rectangular shape, and dynamic fields, which change size based on a speed. We are going to configure a segmented field as an example. First, to adapt the view, activate the scan line and zoom in on the screen until you have a clear and transparent view of the scanned area. To define a new field, the field limits must be set. Click the Add a new field point button. Start by entering the field endpoints of the new field. The field always initially starts at the scanner. Do field points can be set simply by clicking in the scan area. As soon as you set the second point, the software displays a red field, which represents the field area currently being defined. If the position of a field point is not correct, field points can be repositioned by clicking the Edit Field Points button. Simply activate the button and select the corresponding field point. The field point can then be moved. To delete a field point, activate the Delete Field Points button. Select a field point to be deleted, and press the Delete key on the keyboard or double-click the corresponding field point. Once all required field points have been set, click the Next button. If the field is not to start directly at the sensor, the field start points are defined on this page. Fields points are set, moved, and deleted in the same way, as shown earlier in the film. Once all field points have been set, you can exit the field editor and close the configuration of the current field. To configure more fields, start the process again from the beginning. To configure an evaluation case, click to select Evaluation Case from the menu. This menu item can be used to create new cases as well as to copy, edit, and delete existing cases. Click the new button to open the Evil Case Parameterization, in which you can define the parameters of the evaluation case. The parameters determining how the sensor reacts to events in the defined field are set here. You can give the evaluation case a name. Next, select the input combination for which this evaluation case is to be active. A field for which the evaluation case is active must also be selected, along with an evaluation strategy. The evaluation strategy defines how objects are evaluated in the field. It also includes the minimum size an object must be in order to trigger field violation, along with the evaluation time defining how long an object must be in the field before it is violated. Finally, select an output which will switch when the evaluation case signals a field violation. Click Finish to close the wizard and activate the evaluation case. The new evaluation case is displayed in the list. The behavior of the outputs used can now be set. 
an output will respond to the result of an evaluation case. If it is set to application or a combination which contains this, the reset strategy for the output concern can also be selected, as can the logic for switching the output. The result of the field evaluation and the current status of the fields can now be viewed in the field evaluation monitor. A good overview of the latest situation can be obtained by activating the scan line and zooming to optimize the view. If a field is green, it is not currently violated. Yellow indicates that the field is currently violated. If a field is gray, it is not currently active. In addition, the state uses of the outputs, which signal a field violation are displayed below the monitor.